constitutionally, legally, and procedurally speaking, does the Senate have to wait for the House to deliver the articles before they start a Senate trial? So very complex issue. Let's break it down. The, sh the short answer is, in my understanding of the relevant law, they actually do. So the, the Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, Clause 5, vests the House of Representatives with the sole power of impeachment. Article 1, Section 3, Clause 6, vests the Senate with the sole power to try all impeachments. But the Constitution itself is silent in a scenario such as this, where there is an impasse between the House and the Senate. Now, there are some on the right, Mark Levin, of course, the, I'm a huge fan of Mark, so a very popular radio host. He's making the argument that the president has a constitutional right to be acquitted in the Senate. I don't see that. As a, as a matter of constitutional construction, when we're interpreting the Constitution, I think it's inappropriate to read in implied rights and duties that are not there. So the Constitution is pretty silent on this. What that means is that we then look to House and Senate internal rules. There is nothing in the House internal rules that mandates that the Speaker of the House pass any kind of resolution or legislation and physically deliver that to the Senate. It's totally up to the, to the discretion of the Speaker of the House. As far as the Senate is concerned, there's a Tulane law professor who's apparently the, one of the country's only impeachment law experts who has digged up the Senate rules provision that according to the Senate's own internal rules, they say that the trial does not start until the articles of impeachment have been physically delivered to the Senate. So the Senate can always amend its own rules, but un unless and until they do so, McConnell has his hands tied right now. Right, and that's really interesting. So the Senate, according to Senate rules, the Senate cannot begin an impeachment trial until the articles of impeachment from the House of Representatives have been physically delivered. And when they say physically delivered, they mean literally walked over. And talk to me about the precedent here, because in 1998, during uh, the Bill Clinton impeachment, this happened. Yeah, no, this happened in 1998. I, I think it was Congressman Henry Hyde of, of Illinois, a, a Republican of Illinois, who physically walked over. I mean, a lot of people like who, who are political nerds actually don't even know this. Like, you physically deliver a bill or resolution. Like, Congress is very old school. It's kind of antiquated in this sense. You literally physically take over from the south side of the U.S. Capitol building to the north side, from the House to the Senate. They physically deliver resolutions and bills that they expect to be enacted into law. So if there's no physical delivery, then the Senate, according to its own understanding of its own rules, which again, that they can amend, but right, according I, to that- that's, That was gonna be my next question. So it, forgive the interruption, but they could change these rules if they wanted to. Now that would require a different process to change the rules, but it's not a law, it's not in the constitution. So it is a procedural issue, but the procedural issue does tie their hands a little bit. Now, all this being said, I think that this ploy, this stunt by Nancy Pelosi politically will backfire. I don't know how this is going to help her. It shows that this is partisan, which we all know, but this shows even to the people who were maybe on the fence, the Democrats who are on the fence, it shows that this is partisan. She's essentially coercing, trying to coerce Mitch McConnell into allowing Schumer and the Democrats to call witnesses that they want when McConnell said, no, it's the House's role to prosecute. They're the ones that were supposed to do the investigating. And then you just bring the case before the Senate, which means no additional witnesses, no additional information. So Pelosi's trying to control the Senate, and that, I think, will backfire politically. 